Sales Funnel Structure Stage 1. Awareness At the top of the sales funnel lies the awareness stage, where most prospects are located. During this stage, prospects have just had their initial interactions with your business and its products, and they may not yet be ready to become a paying customer. While they may not know much about your brand yet, they know it exists. The goal during this stage is to capture the attention of potential customers and create brand recognition. This can be achieved through various marketing strategies such as advertising, social media, and content marketing. Stage 2. Interest. As prospects become more conscious of your brand during the awareness stage, some will naturally be drawn further down the sales funnel. This is where the interest stage comes in. During this stage, potential customers are actively seeking more information about your business and the products or services you offer. They may browse your website, check out your inventory, read your blogs, or look through client reviews. This is a critical stage in the sales funnel. It presents an opportunity to engage with potential customers and provide them with the information they need to make an informed decision. Stage 3. Evaluation. As potential customers move through the sales funnel, they enter the evaluation stage. At this point, they have gathered enough information during the interest stage to evaluate your products or services against your competitors actively. During the evaluation stage, potential customers may submit forms for additional information or contact your customer support staff with specific inquiries. It's crucial to provide them with clear and concise answers to their questions and demonstrate how your products can meet their needs. At this point, potential customers seek evidence that your business can provide them with the solution they pursue. Stage 4. Negotiation. As potential customers move further down the sales funnel, they reach the negotiation stage. At this point, they are close to making a purchase decision and may begin to negotiate the cost or conditions of the deal, depending on the nature of your offerings. While it's important to be open to negotiation and address any concerns potential customers may have, it's also reasonable to assume that they are interested in purchasing your product or service. The negotiation stage presents an opportunity to discuss any final details and ensure that the terms of the deal are mutually beneficial. The goal during this stage is to close the deal and convert the potential customer into a paying customer. Stage 5. Closing the sale. This is where the potential customer makes a decision about whether to purchase your product or service. At this point, they may negotiate on the price or terms of the agreement, depending on the nature of your offerings. While it's necessary to be open to negotiation and address any concerns the potential customer may have, it's reasonable to assume that they are seriously considering making a purchase. The goal during the closing stage is to provide excellent customer service and ensure a smooth onboarding. Stage 6. Loyalty. The final stage of the sales funnel the loyalty stage, which occurs after a sale has been made. At this point, the customer has purchased your product or service, and the sales contract will eventually expire and need to be renewed. During the loyalty stage, it's possible that a new round of pricing and purchase term negotiations may take place before the contract is renewed or repurchased. By being responsive to the customer's needs and providing personalized solutions, you can establish trust and build a positive relationship with the customer, leading to increased loyalty and future sales. If you want to find out more about sales funnels, read our blog article, What is a Sales Funnel? 